learning objectives at the end of this module you will be able to know the meaning of the term index number become acquainted with the usage of some widely used index numbers calculate an index number using various methods appreciate the limitations attached with index number index numbers introduction what is an index number in simple words an index number is a statistical device used to show deviation in price or value compared with the price or value at a definite earlier time it represents the common trend of diverging proportions from which it is calculated it is a degree of the average change in a group of correlated variables over two diverse conditions the comparison may be between individuals schools clinics etc an index number also measures deviations in the value of the variables such as costs of a specified list of producers production volume in different sectors of trade and commerce production of various cultivated crops livelihood cost etc index numbers are expressed in terms of percentage what is base period price index number and quantity index number a base period is a point in time used as a reference point for evaluation with other periods the value in the base period is given the index number 100 a normalized average of price relatives for a given type of goods and services in a particular region during a definite interval of time is known as price index number quantity index number on the other hand measures the variations in the quantity or volume of goods produced at a given point in time Though price index numbers are more commonly used a production index number is also an important pointer of the level of the output in an economy construction of an index number it is pertinent to mention the purpose of constructing the index number in the first place an unplanned construction of index number will be a wastage of time and effort First of all selection of base year is a must and one should keep in mind that the base year should not be distant from the current year only graded things should be included in the construction of index numbers so as to reach a definite conclusion where standard accuracy is maintained methods of constructing an index number there are two different methods for constructing an index number it can be calculated by using the aggregative method and by the method of averaging relatives the simple aggregative method the formula for simple aggregative price index is p01 is equal to the sum of p1 divided by p0 multiplied by 100 here P1 and P0 illustrate the price of a commodity in current and base year respectively. The aggregative method is an unweighted measure because it does not clearly reflect the relative items of the commodities. In the example given here, P1 is 145 while P0 is 90. Using the formula, we get P01, which is equal to 161.11 this shows that the prices have risen by 61.11% the commodities are treated as having equal importance or weight but in reality they are purchased at a different order of preference the weighted aggregative method a simple index number becomes weighted index number when the relative significance of other item is taken into consideration here quantified weights are considered and thus it measures the change in the value of a fixed aggregate of goods 
The Weighted Aggregative Price Index considers the quantities of the base year as weights and is also known as Les Payers Price Index. On the other hand, where the quantities of base year are different from that of the current year and current year's quantities are used to ascertain the price index is called Pash's Price Index. Method of Averaging Relatives and Consumer Price Index CPI. Method of Averaging Relatives With the help of the Method of Averaging Relatives, we find out the relative price of individual items and average out their individual values. The Price Relative Index refers to the proportionate value percentage of a variable in the current year as compared to the base year. Averaging Relatives method reflects the average of the relatives when there are many commodities. The weighted index of price relatives is the weighted arithmetic mean of price relatives. In a weighted price relative index, weights may be defined by the percentage of costs on them in total costs during the base period. In general, the base period weight is desired to the current period weight because calculating the weight every year is a difficult task. Consumer Price Index A consumer price index is the most commonly used index number that examines the subjective average of a basket of consumer goods and services purchased by buyers. Basically, CPI tries to quantify the aggregate price level in an economy and thereby assessing the purchasing power of the consumers. This index is also known as the Cost of Living Index. In India, government agencies prepare and maintain CPI data. The Reserve Bank of India uses an All India Combined Consumer Price Index as the chief measure to monitor the changes in consumer prices. Nowadays, this index is prepared using 2012 as the base year. The Consumer Food Price Index is the same as the Consumer Price Index for food and beverages, except that it does not consider alcoholic beverages and prepared meals, snacks, sweets, etc. Some Important Index Numbers Wholesale Price Index A Wholesale Price Index WPI, measure and track the deviations in the wholesale prices of products, that is, the goods traded between two business entities and not between the buyers and sellers. It is calculated for wholesale prices in which the quantities of current and base year are different. Unlike the CPI, it does not have any reference consumer category. The year 2011-12 is now the wholesale price index for India. Index of Industrial Production The Index of Industrial Production is an Indian index through which the growth in various sectors such as manufacturing, mining, etc. in an economy can be determined. Unlike the Consumer Price Index or the Wholesale Price Index, this tries to compute quantities. 2017 onwards, 2011-12 is used as the base year to calculate the index of industrial production. The base year for this index number changes rapidly because every year a large number of items either stop being manufactured or become insignificant, while many new commodities start getting manufactured. Core industries, namely coal, crude oil, natural gas, refinery products, fertilizers, steel, cement and electricity are the main branches of IIP. Here, it is interesting to know that the eight core industries have a combined weight of 40.27% in the IIP. The index of industrial production is also available according to the use of the product. For example, 
primary goods, consumer durables and so on. The Index of Industrial Human Development Index The Human Development Index has three major components that measure the quality of life of people, providing good opportunities and freedom to the people and giving a variety of options to choose what's good for them. Sensex Sensex is the benchmark index of the Bombay Stock Exchange, BSC, in India. 30 largest and most actively traded stocks of 13 different sectors are listed on the Sensex, which provides an accurate gauge of Indian economy. A rise in Sensex indicates that the market is going strong and investors can expect better profits from the companies listed here. This rise also demonstrates that investors have high hopes from the economy and are willing to invest money. Index Numbers in Economics Issues in the Construction of Index Number First of all, the purpose of the index should be clearly defined, else it would be wastage of time and efforts. There are many issues that arise during the construction of index numbers, that is, for example, selection of sources of data, determining the base year, and the selection of a number of items. Unbiased prices are required so as to maintain accuracy. At the same time, data has to be collected using reliable sources only. Index Numbers in Economics Index numbers are a useful way of demonstrating data easily and it makes comparison also easier. The base value always has an index number of 100 and thus the index number is expressed as 100 times. CPI is used to determine the purchasing power of consumers. WPI is used to measure the rate of inflation. IIP gives a quantitative figure about the change in production in the industrial unit. Agricultural Production Index is used to identify the performance of the agricultural sector and Sensex serves as a guide for the investors in the stock market. Conclusion From the discussion, we can conclude that index numbers are vital as they enable us to work out a single measure of change of a large number of items. Index numbers can be computed for volume, price, quantity, etc. The index numbers need to be constructed cautiously. The items to be integrated and the choice of the base year is essential. Hence, we can say that index numbers are extremely important in policy making, as is apparent by their different uses. Summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module. An index number is a statistical tool used for evaluating a relative change in a number of items over a period of time. Index numbers cannot be measured directly, rather they represent relative changes and are often expressed in percent. Wholesale Price Index Index of Industrial Production Consumer Price Index, Agricultural Production Index and Sensex are some of the most commonly used index numbers. A Wholesale Price Index, WPI, measure and track the deviations in the wholesale prices of products, that is, the goods traded between two business entities and not between the buyers and sellers. The Index of Industrial Production, IIP, is an Indian index through which the growth in various sectors such as manufacturing, mining, etc. in an economy can be determined. A Consumer Price Index is the most commonly used index number that examines the subjective average of a basket of consumer goods and services purchased by buyers. Sensex is the benchmark index of the Bombay Stock Exchange, BSE, in India. 
30 largest and most actively traded stocks of the country are listed on the Sensex Index, which provides an accurate gauge of Indian economy. The index numbers are an integral part of formulating economic policies.